I was never a fan of the good old bush. I'm not even gonna bother building the penny board. I know this is an option for a lot of you guys. This is by far the cheapest option. We're finally getting to your most anticipated requested video of all time on this channel. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And then this one. There's three types of skateboards that you can use to exercise your dog. The price heavily varies. Of course, you can always buy these online or you can go to either a local skate shop, local Walmart, a big five, any retail store that sells outdoor activity stuff. You will be able to find these skateboards. As far as the price range, the penny board, this is the cheapest skateboard you can use. Now there's a couple downsides to this. One being, of course, the size. Since it's so small, you have little room to move around, which can be very dangerous when you're running with your dog at full speed. You can find one of these penny boards for around $20. The nice thing about the penny boards is that they come with bigger wheels. If you guys really don't know about skateboard wheels, there's different size skateboard wheels as well as how soft they are. These are the wheels that the penny board comes with. If you're looking to buy bigger wheels, a really nice option you have is to buy a penny board since these wheels typically cost around the same or even more than the whole penny board itself. So if you buy a penny board, you get the wheels and a board, even though this is pretty worthless since it's completely unstable. Just fun. The other option you have is a normal skateboard. I ran this setup for a good amount of time. If you do go for the skateboard, you will have a much bigger area to rest your feet, which is really important when you're trying to run with your dog. Since your dog is gonna be pulling you, you need a big enough area to actually remain stable and to stop with your foot. The bigger the skateboard, the more stable it is, the more room you have to stop, the more room you have for your foot. The skateboard is a really nice option if you add bigger wheels to the board. Normal skateboard Skating wheels are meant for flat surfaces. If you run into a little piece of wood or a big crack, the board will stop and hold and you will go flying. With bigger wheels, you have more room to go over obstacles. If you are planning to buy a skateboard to exercise your dog, make sure you buy bigger wheels. You could either do that by buying a penny board and taking the wheels off and putting it on your skateboard or just buying bigger wheels as it is. They'll both cost you around the same price. What would I recommend to start off with? I would personally not recommend the penny board. The penny board is extremely dangerous. I've only used this thing about two times and I was not able to do it. That being said, I would not recommend a penny board if you're trying to exercise your dog on a skateboard. It is the cheapest alternative. Building a skateboard can be somewhat costly. It can run you about 100 to 120 dollars so this is a much more expensive route but the benefit of owning a skateboard if you were planning to learn how to skate as in do tricks as an ollie kickflip this is your all-in-one board right here you can exercise your dog as well as practice how to skate the skateboard was my go-to ride for a really long time kze what do you ride with now this is the longboard i ride it's a play shin longboard I purchased this off of Amazon for $60. Super fast shipping. This is what I ride. The bigger the board, the more stable the ride will be. You don't have to worry as much as to where you step with a longboard. I've seen people actually dance on a longboard. This is probably the cheapest longboard you can find. I wasn't gonna go for an expensive longboard. I wouldn't recommend you buying an expensive longboard for the first time. Start off with something cheap. If you buy something that's cheap and you actually enjoy it and stick to it, down the road, that's a really nice sign that you can upgrade to better gear. So don't go out and purchase a $160 longboard start off cheap what's the board that i would recommend for you guys to start riding like i said the penny board is out of existence the penny board is a horrible option except for the wheels stop looking at me fruit don't fucking look at me oh, that's right a couple differences between these two of course the shape the longboard could typically support bigger wheels they're typically made of more rubbery material and it just feels like it absorbs much more impact than a skateboard does this here is a drop-through longboard what that means is that 
it has the trunks, which are these thingies right here, dropping through the board. All that does is lower the longboard slightly more. Which skateboard turns better? If you know how to ride a longboard correctly, the longboard is the best ride for both you and your dog. When I use the longboard, it just feels like crypto runs right next to me. Your dog will use less strength if you're riding with a longboard. These are meant for cruising. These are meant for tricks. I would personally recommend a longboard. You can't go wrong with a $60 longboard. Something that has to do a lot with the turning radius are these bushings right here. I could move the trunks with my hands. You can always tighten this to make it more stable or loosen it. The sturdier the trunks, the stiffer the ride will be, so you'll have less turning radius. Here's a little comparison of how the trunks look. If you're a beginner and you're looking to exercise with your dog, by far the best option you have is to purchase a longboard. I've owned this thing for quite some time now, more than a month, probably more than two months. I purchased this off Amazon for $60 delivered to my door. It took about three days for this thing to get here. It's a Palatian skateboard with some feathers as a design. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing video, I actually do have an unboxing video of this thing as well as a first ride with it. it it? The clown? It? Child support? Why do you get happy when I say child support, you bastard? Hmm? Hmm. These trunks seem to be made out of plastic. The wheels are still nice and fast. Couple scuffs when I drop down. The design will get scuffed. For being a $60 longboard, this thing has came in clutch. It's slightly curved, a size comparison with a skateboard. Almost the same size, I do believe this is a 39 inch. Same width as a skateboard. A weight difference, they're about the same. Weight comparison, they're about the same. That has to do a lot with the ride. Look at those huge wheels. This isn't the grippiest grip tape there is out there, but you can always change it. Now, of course, your grip tape will get dirty. Crypto's peed on this thing about five times. The homie Brutus pissed on it a couple times. This thing is dirtier than Mia Khalifa's gooty hole at this point, which I'm not ashamed. Mm, are you teasing me? Hmm. The longboard is pretty easy to turn. How do you ride a longboard? Your lead foot should be in the front position straight while your back foot should be horizontally. You will be turning with your back foot. It'll take a while for you to get used to the longboard and foot positioning and everything. But as soon as you get used to this, as soon as you get the longboard, it'll be the most enjoyable ride you will ever have with your dog. A longboard requires much less strength for you to push in order to keep moving. I move without even pedaling. Now, will the skateboard do the exact same thing? Uh, let's find out. A one, a two. Oh, it will. That's some Jeepers Creepers type. Jeepers Creepers? I thought Jeepers Creepers was supposed to come out on September 27th, which turns out to be my birthday. I guess it was only in certain theaters, so I never watched it. So you know I'm gonna go to Pirate Bay. Either way, back to the longboard. I actually have fallen off of my skateboard about two times. Luckily, I have recorded both those times. I've never fallen off the longboard. Seems like a conspiracy theory to me. Will I be upgrading to a better longboard? Not necessarily i don't need another longboard this longboard does exactly what any other longboard is capable of doing for the time being this is my longboard this is my go-to ride if i'm looking to exercise my siberian husky siberian husky you are one weird dog crypto if you're looking to purchase your first skateboard there's a couple things you need to look for the wheels the size of the deck and the bushings which are these right here typically longboards have really soft bushings allowing the trunks to move much more freely so if you have big wheels some loose bushings and a nice area to work your feet on that's the ideal skateboard you want that being said you could just add wheels to this and it's pretty much the same thing but not as stable as the longboard so the longboard by far takes the cake on what's the best skateboard to exercise your dog with. There you guys go, I answered your question. You guys have been asking for this video for quite some time. It's only right I show you guys the ride comparison between a longboard and a skateboard with normal tires. The first thing you'll notice will be the sound difference. When I ride the longboard, it tends to be a much more quiet ride. So let's 
go ahead and take him out on the skateboard first. Wow, we just we just fell on a bush, and I let go of crypto. Crypto, come here! Ah, oh, fuck! Come here! Ah, oh. there's your fucking difference. Okay, that's enough riding a skateboard. I just literally got shanked by a damn bush. Well, <laughs> crypto is so happy. There you go. That that sums up your whole question. Okay, that was too funny. I literally fell on a bush. Oh, that's gross. We just added to the number of falls. If you guys have seen any of my past videos, you'll know how a longboard acts and stuff. So as far as the Palatian review, it's an amazing first cheap longboard that'll last you as long as you take care of it for. If you guys are looking for the best skateboard to exercise your dog with, I'll throw the link down in the description of the Palatian. This is a perfect beginner longboard. You can't go wrong for the price. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this video, guys. That unexpected crash disoriented me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower. I smell like tree shrub for some reason. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace out. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.